Welcome back to the channel, guys. I'm Dead Eye, and if you're new here, we cover tips, tricks, and techniques that can help you in the sport of cowboy action shooting. Now, today we're going to be covering a couple transitions from the rifle to the shotgun. But before we jump in, we got ourselves a new channel intro, so let's try it on, see how it fits. So new intro, yay, nay, let me know in the comments. So let's jump in, rifle to shotgun transitions. Basically the premise with any transition is to having both hands doing something at the same time, right? Be as efficient as possible. So the first one, it's just the simplest one. It's my favorite one to do when we're standing over our rifle and shotgun. And we're just gonna pick our rifle up. After we're done shooting it, we're gonna roll it down with our left hand, pick up our shotgun with our right hand. And then as we're coming up with the shotgun, we're coming up with our left hand, grabbing our shells for the load. So let's try one on for size. So simple transition right off the bat, but some things to think about when you're rolling your rifle down, you're picking that shotgun up. What I'm thinking of whenever I'm training for this and then whenever of course I'm in a match or something that just flows well is to make this a little bit rhythmic instead of just slamming that rifle down as fast as you can go snatching that shotgun up as fast as you can go it's more about for me both hands down at the same time so as soon as this one hits this one's hitting on the shotgun wrist and as this one's rolling up the hands are rolling up to grab the shells so it almost feels more like both hands up both hands down both hands up so instead of just slamming the rifle down snatching that shotgun as quick as you can you know make it kind of rhythmic for down up and this will help your consistency when doing these transitions all right for the next one we're going to roll our rifle down with our right hand while we're pulling our shells with our left then we're going to switch our hand over pick up a shotgun and as our shotgun comes up our shells are already up here ready prepped to go in so let's try that one at full speed As you can see with either of these techniques there's really no advantage to one or the other i would believe uh time wise probably six one way half a dozen other i would say that you might have an advantage if you kind of have different skill sets and maybe your eye speed versus your hand speed if you typically are a little faster hand speed type guy you might like to go ahead and roll the rifle down with your left roll the shotgun up with your right and that way you have a little bit more time to get on your chambers and your hands are going to kind of be there to get those shells in now if you need a little more time to to get those shells together and you know your eye speed is good and you're hitting your chambers right the first time you might roll your rifle get those shells in your hand prepped ready go to your shotgun so like i said no right no wrong i would definitely recommend being proficient at both of these because these will sometimes you'll want to use one or the other depending on the situation whenever you're moving especially so let's jump into that what happens when we move with our rifle to our shotgun taking our rifle with us all right, so for this one, we're gonna take our rifle with us, moving to our strong side. Eh, we're not gonna go very far here. So as you can see, when moving to our strong side, go ahead and putting that rifle in our strong side hand, getting our shells ready, is gonna be a little bit better transition. We're gonna have a little time to get those shells prepped in our hand, and it's very quick to just set your rifle down and move over to get your shotgun up. So when moving strong side, I would definitely give the advantage to rolling the rifle down with the strong side hand. All right, moving from our strong side to our weak side. I definitely prefer to leave a rifle in my weak side hand for this one. I know I'm not getting my shells out and prepped, but it's much easier to move this way. So when moving with your rifle, one thing to be cautious of obviously is the 170. We always think about left and right. 
you know, laterally, but it also goes for straight up too. So when you're moving with your rifle, I don't want to leave it in my right hand because I have a tendency to want to leave it up in front of me or in a weird direction. Or if I got the wrist here, it's kind of hard to leave it pointed down range while moving this direction and then setting it down and getting your hips turned. It's kind of awkward. So instead, I want to use my left hand to roll it down. So let's show that one. So as you can see when I came in there, I'm really planting that right foot or my strong side foot here when I go to lay this one down and transition and then twisting those hips around. So getting yourself in position is just as effective time management wise for efficiency as it is making sure your hands are doing two different things. Get your hips, get your feet set to how you need to shoot. So for me on that one, I'm planting my right foot, I'm pivoting around while I'm rolling the shotgun up, getting myself set up for success for either shooting the shotgun and or getting ready to move to the next part of the stage. So it's not just both hands at the same time. When we add movement into it, some other dynamics come into play. So that's why I like really leaving my rifle in my left hand if I'm moving to the left side, but my right hand if I'm moving to the right side. But what happens when we move down range? Let's try one there. So when moving down range, I definitely give the advantage to the getting the shells in your hand ready to go first. Of course, that means we're gonna have to roll a rifle down with the right hand. So let's go one down range. So just like that, folks, like I said, roll the rifle down, get those shells prepped. Don't be afraid to drop those shells on the run. If you pull them wrong, grab new shells. So when you do these transitions, when you practice these, practice all of them. You know, you might have a preference to rolling with the left hand or rolling with the right hand with your rifle, but you're gonna need the other ones at some point, especially if you're gonna move to your rifle from a location. So with that, thanks for watching guys. That's all I got for you guys today. If you liked the video, hit the like. If you didn't, hit the dislike. Subscribe if you haven't done so already, and I will see you guys in the next video, or better yet, I'd like to see you out on the range. Thanks for watching. So, it's a good way to knock your sights off. Rifle to shotgun. I think about what we were doing today. We have to move to our strong side with our rifle, taking our rifle.